what up what up you guys it is your girl jasmine and i am back with another cooking video you guys i just want to make sure that y'all understand that i am giving you guys golden recipes okay golden like these are sacred recipes <laughs> <laughs> like I'm really trying to get y'all to eat more plant-based foods and honestly like everything not everything I might be hyping it up a little bit most things that I cook are actually really really good and I say most things because the other night <laughs> literally the other night you guys saw me make these um oatmeal cookies so what was that not yesterday but the day before that so three days ago now and i think when i made them remember i didn't make them right like i took them out too soon so i had to put them back in the oven and then i think at the end of that video i rated them like a five out of ten on likelihood to make some more well y'all i don't like them Look, let me I just want to show you guys like they've been sitting in this container now for a few days and I made nine cookies okay there was nine cookies that were made that night and I still have seven I even gave a piece to Brody he didn't want it <laughs> he didn't even want them okay Bro listen if Brody doesn't want something it's gotta be nasty okay because Brody will eat anything and for those of y'all who don't know Brody's my dog um so I'm not gonna lie to you guys I'm probably just gonna toss these there's no point in just keeping them around you know but if you guys like them or if you still want to make them by all means do it it is possible that I might have messed them up. It's very possible because that was the first time I made them. So I just want to give y'all an update on the breakfast oatmeal cookies. So make them at your own risk, okay? <laughs> but I just wanted to give y'all an update on that. So tonight, we are making healthy vegan blueberry and walnut pancakes. And you guys, when it comes to pancakes, you can use whatever toppings you want. I just love blueberries. They're so healthy for you. They're full in fiber. And I love walnuts. Walnuts are probably the best nut that you could ever eat, to be honest with you. So why not combine the healthiest fruit and the healthiest nut together, pause, and make walnut blueberry pancakes, hey! <laughs> And I'm going to be putting my protein powder in them. This is my protein powder for the, those of you guys who don't know what kind of protein powder I eat or consume, whatever. I get this from Amazon, and this is on my Amazon storefront. So make sure you guys click the link down below and order you some. This is pea protein. It is a complete protein, you guys. All set, all nine amino acids are in there. I was about to say seven. There's nine. All nine amino acids are in here. So it is a complete protein, okay? So for those of you guys who continuously think that us vegans cannot build muscle, I prove to you time and time again that you're wrong, okay? You are wrong. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so I'm going to be using my high-powered blender, my Vitamix here. We have two steps. First, we have to make the pancake batter, which is what I'm going to do, and then we have to cook them, okay? And when we cook them, I'll be using my trusty skillet again. Make sure y'all go and get y'all a skillet. I'm telling you, your skillet it's an all-purpose, okay? You can cook any and everything in it. So I love these pancakes, you guys. I've made them so many times. Y'all are gonna, look, y'all are gonna love these pancakes and they're flourless, so even healthier, right? All right, so let's get to cooking. First, I'm going to put one cup of my oatmeal in here. This is Old Fashioned Rolled Oats Bob's Red Mill. So one cup. I don't have a cup of uh, measures. I have a fourth cup measure here, so y'all are gonna see me do four scoops to make one full cup. And you guys, I did not go to the gym today. I decided to give myself another day to 
just recover, relax. For those of y'all who don't know, I've been sick the past few days. So I've just been in here cooking, you know, just cooking and eating and playing in bed, watching TV, you know, getting some work done, not as much as I normally would, but it's okay. My body needed the rest. So I'm very appreciative of that. I do miss the gym. Hopefully I'm 100% tomorrow. Today, I was probably like 80%. So we're getting somewhere, right? We're getting somewhere, just not at the 100%. All right, so I have one cup of oatmeal in here. So there's no flour. The flour that we're going to be using is the oatmeal, okay? So one cup of um, oats. Next, I'm going to do one cup of almond milk. So let me shake this up really quick. And again, I don't have my cup measure, my one cup measure, so y'all are going to see me do four um of this because this is a one fourth cup measure and i may even add a little bit more almond milk right before i put them on the skillet we shall see so next after that you're gonna need one large ripe banana my bananas are finally ripe you guys and i was telling you guys when i made the oatmeal cookies the bananas weren't ripe so like I said, it's possible that I just messed up the whole thing. Okay. I, it could have been me. If you guys make them and you love them, more power to you. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> Next, I'm going to need one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Matter of fact, I'm going to start with my protein powder. I'm going to put two tablespoons of protein powder in here. And so one serving gives you eight to grams of protein. So since I'm doing two tablespoons, there will be a total of 16 grams of protein in my, oh, in my pancakes, excuse me. All right, so I got my protein powder in there. Now I'm gonna add one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Put that in there. Like so. Next, I'm going to do two teaspoons of baking powder. Ooh, I always make a mess. Like it's inevitable. <laughs> no matter how hard I try not to, I do. <laughs> All right, so two table, two teaspoons of baking powder. And then last but not least, I have some vanilla extracts here. I just, I just kind of put like the cap in there. I don't know what that measurement would be, but oh, well, I guess I'm doing more than that considering I dumped it all over my hand. All right, I have extra vanilla extract in this batch. <laughs> I'm sure it won't be bad, right? Okay. And then last but not least, maple syrup. I don't have a measurement for you. I just kind of put it in. Uh, that's what he said. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. This has got to stop. Okay. I just kind of pour some in. Okay. I, I don't know. Just pour and taste and add as you please. Okay. That's what I recommend. Next, it's time to blend. And remember, you guys, we talked about this yesterday when we made our vegan cheese sauce. When it comes to using a blender... If it doesn't blend, you don't have enough liquid in there, okay? And I will also repeat, do not feel like you have to go out and buy an expensive blender when you're just getting into this, okay? Because the last thing I want you to do is spend $300 or more on a blender because you want to eat more plant-based. You use it for a week, and then it's like collecting dust in your pantry. You could have used that for groceries, healthy food. So... Get you a cheaper blender, get used to eating plant-based, right? Get used to using your blender. And then if you still enjoy it, then, you know, in the future or whatever, go ahead and upgrade your blender, okay? But a regular cheaper one will work. It probably will just need to take longer to blend, but it'll work, okay? When I first started all this, I think I had a blender, it might've been like $30, and I was still able to make the vegan cheese sauce. It just... You had to let it go for a long time. That's all. All right. So let's go ahead and blend this up.
Okay, so I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. I'm gonna blend it a little bit longer, but I want you guys to see. So see, it's starting to look like pancake batter, right? So it still has a few like chunks in there. It's not all the way smooth texture. I hope y'all can see that. So you wanna make sure you get it as smooth as possible, okay? That's how you know that you've done a good job blending. Okay, anything that you blend, I feel like when it comes to plant-based stuff, I might be mis I might be misspeaking, but I feel like you always want it to be smooth. I can't think of something that I've made where I still wanted it chunky, but I could be wrong. Okay, let me blend some more. Okay, so we are good to go on this. Now what you want to do is let this batter sit for like five minutes before you put it on the skillet, okay? So while I let it sit, I'm gonna set up my skillet and all that stuff, but first I wanna taste the batter to make sure I like the way it tastes because this is ultimately what your pancakes are gonna taste like. So if you feel like you need to make them a little sweeter, do it now. Mm, these are gonna be good. Mm, nice and sweet. It's crazy how like your banana, the ripeness of it can make or break your whole recipe, okay? All right, I'm going to set up my skillet. All right, so I was just kind of tidying up. Like one thing, you guys, I cannot function in clutter anymore. Like I used to be able to, like when I was younger, like everything was messy. Like my room was messy. Everything was messy. My car was messy. Like I was just a hot ass mess. But it's like, as I've gotten older, it's like I cannot function and clutter like things may not always be like dusted but things have to be put away like clutter just it freaks me out and I cannot cook in clutter either like I've seen some people's kitchens and I'm like I don't even know how you can cook with everything all over the place like more power to you child but I cannot do it like I just cannot not anymore. So I cook and clean, clean and cook. I cannot just let everything stack up. Oh, it drives me crazy. So I was able to wipe down the counters and stuff. So I've got my skillet right here and here's my batter. It's thickening up some. You don't want it to be too soupy. You, you want it to be like how you would cook a regular pancake. So whatever consistency of batter you would do for a regular pancake with flour, you would want the same for this, okay? So a little on the thicker side so that they can be a little fluffy. When you pour them into the skillet, they don't like spread and become super flat. You know, you know, you've made pancakes before. Come on, we, we know, we know, we know. All right, so I'm going to, I have some avocado oil cooking spray here. Got this from Kroger. This was like $11.99, something like that. Um, oh shit. I done broke the, okay, we good. All right. <laughs> I was about to get mad. I thought I broke the sprayer part. I'm just going to spray a little bit on here so that the pancakes don't stick. One and two, they kind of cook. Um, just a little bit, y'all. Just a little bit. Please don't go crazy. We want to kind of like reduce how much oil we use when we're cooking our food right and the last thing that we want to do is fry anything right maybe here and there but like fried foods is not something we should be eating regularly okay i don't care whether you're trying to lose weight or not it's just not good for you um but i'm never going to tell you not to eat something but i'm always going to tell you in moderation okay but yeah so let me go ahead and turn my skillet one all right i'm gonna let it get hot now when we 
put the pancakes on here. We got to be quick because I got to put the blueberries on and the walnuts. I'm going to like push it into the pancake before I flip it. Okay, so got to move quick. I have my blueberries here. Got them from Whole Foods. And these are walnut halves and pieces. So when I do end up putting the walnuts on the blueberries, I kind of break them into like little pieces and put it on there, okay? But y'all gonna see, y'all gonna see. So anyways, I wanna talk to y'all about an episode of Catfish I was watching. And make sure when you put the pancakes on here, make sure the that the service is hot. Not like super hot, but y'all know, I don't be really knowing how in detail to go with the pancakes because I know most people have made pancakes. It's, it's literally at this point the same thing. I just gotta make sure because some people, some people, I feel like you, you just gotta, you just gotta make sure you say it. You know what I mean? <laughs> you just gotta make sure you say it for some people. But anyway, so while I was laying in bed today, I was watching an episode of Catfish, and I never watch Catfish because I think it's like pretty stupid to be honest with you like how people don't be knowing they're getting catfished but hey whatever so anyways this girl she started talking to this guy online and they were they hit it off and I guess she was always a little skeptical about him but for the most part like they were you know they were like two peas in a pod but they never met in person she only had gotten a couple of pictures from him and the pictures that she had got they were dark so she couldn't really make out what he looked like and she lied about her name. Like, he thought her name was one thing, but it was really something else. He tattooed her name on his neck in big letters. So finally, she called me and the girl that he's doing it with now. They came down there. You know, they're going to investigate or whatever. Figured out that they felt like he was the real person. But they just couldn't figure out why he never wanted to meet. And he kept saying when Neve called, he needs like two months, right? And Neve was like, no, like, we got to meet now. Like, she needs to meet you now. She wants to make sure that this is real before it goes any further. So he was like, okay, he didn't want to, but he was like, okay. So Neve was like, he's probably overweight. Like, most people who want a couple of months to meet they tend to be overweight and they want to try to lose as much weight as possible before they meet you. So that's what, well, that's what they thought they was getting into. All right. I'm going to um, pour this on. So that's what they thought they were getting into, right? The fact that he was on the bigger side. So they finally meet him. Everything checks out. Like he's not, he wasn't like overweight compared to his pictures. He was really, who he was in the pictures. Uh, why is this not on? Y'all, I'm already fucking up. Because the burner, I don't know what happened. I guess I turned it off instead of up. But anyway, so we'll see how this go. Anyway, he really was, you know, what he looked like in his pictures. But when he started talking, and so the girl, like, she was so excited, like, she was crying because she said she really liked him and everything was checking out. So she was so excited. And then when he, <laughs> when he opened his mouth to talk, he didn't have any teeth. Like he was missing. I don't know if he was missing all of his front teeth or if he had so many like gaps like, I don't know. He needed dental work and he was missing some teeth, right? Okay, so I put my pancakes on here. I just made regular size pancakes, nothing, you know, too crazy. I'm going to put some blueberries on here. I love blueberries, so I put quite a bit on here, okay? The more, the merrier. And I just kind of like drop them on here like so. But anyway, so he needed like serious dental work and he was missing some teeth and like in the front. And so he was saying he had gotten into a fight and that's where he lost like a lot of his teeth. And, you know, he's working around the clock to save up to get them replaced. So the girl who set all this up and wanted to meet him and had called me, like called the entire show. She's going to say, after you could see, she was so excited that it was him. 
she don't goddamn say she needs time. She's not ready for a serious relationship because she's just getting out of one. But baby, that won't the energy you had 10 minutes ago or the entire show. Like she was making it seem like she wanted him. All right, so I put all my blueberries on there. Now I'm going to crush up some walnuts and sprinkle some walnuts on each pancake. So when she said that, like, me looked like, what? Like, that's not what she said when we was in the car on the way over here. Like, it just threw everyone for a loop. And so, mind you, she told him, she told old boy at the meeting that she lied about her name. And he literally has a whole name of a chick that he don't know on his neck because she lied about what her, her name was to him because he got that tattoo. So he already dealing with that shit, but he's like, it's cool. You know, I can cover it up or I'm sure they can get creative and fix it or whatever. So he forgave her for that. But when she said she don't know if she want to be with him or she don't know if she's ready for a relationship, but they can be friends. He started crying, y'all. Like he was crying. And I felt so bad for him because it's like he already knew she was going to do that. Because, you know, most people care about the aesthetics of somebody when they first meet. But what irritated me about this girl was you liked him. You liked him so much that you took time out of your day and called MTV Catfish to come and see if he really was who he was, you know, portraying himself to be online. So clearly you really liked this man. But now, and they have been talking for years, y'all, like years. Now that you see that he's missing some of his teeth, but is actively trying to get them fixed, you don't want to deal with him no more because of some teeth? Please make it make sense. All right, so I'm going to turn this up a little bit more. So you want to make sure that it's cooked at the bottom, obviously, before you flip. I already didn't jack these up because I should have put the burner on a little higher, but whatever we here now. So they, they should be done on that side by now, but normally by the time I put the blueberries and walnuts on, but that was my error. But anyway, yeah. So she didn't want to be with him no more because of some teeth, but you liked everything about him. Literally like y'all, you spent all this time talking to him. It's not like it was a first meet at a store, you know, he walked up to you and said hi, and you just judged him right off of that. You didn't even get a chance to know him. That's one thing. But you've been talking to this man for all these years, and he really is who he was in the pictures. It won't like he was somebody else. But because he missing some of his teeth, <laughs> you don't want to talk to him no more. Like, that doesn't even make sense. Like, I thought that was so freaking shallow. I understand, like, you have to be physically attracted to someone. I get it. But my thing is, you were he already had you mentally because y'all been talking for years. So, I don't know, y'all. Let me know down in the comments what y'all think. Am I tripping? But I feel like that was very shallow. And then on top of that, her teeth weren't perfect either. It's just kind of like, what? I, I don't know, y'all. To each his own. To each his own. But I just... <sighs> I don't know, y'all. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. All right, I'm going to go ahead and flip them, and then I'm going to bring y'all close so y'all can see um, what they looking like. But yeah, like, that just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Like, I was just like, fuck that bitch. <laughs> and when he get his teeth fixed, you better not be in his DMs talking about some, I'm ready for a relationship. You better not. You better not, bitch. Because that is some tacky ass shit, in my opinion. Only because you have been talking to him for this long. Crazy ass girl. Had them do all that. Now because he's missing a couple of teeth. Please make it make sense. All right, so this is what my pancakes are looking like. I just flipped them. So the side with the blueberries and walnuts is now on the burner. Let me show y'all what one is looking like. So it's not done, but I just wanted to flip it so you guys could see. 
And I do kind of like put my spatula under all of them because I don't want the blueberries and stuff to stick. Just to see. Yeah. These are going to be so good, you guys. All right. And I cook them maybe like maybe like five to eight minutes on each side. I want them cooked all the way through. I don't want a wet oatmeal mess on the inside, y'all. Like, I like my stuff cooked. If you like your stuff a little runny, then, you know, by all means, cook them a little shorter. But I like to make sure it's cooked all the way through. All right, so I'm just flipping. They definitely got fluffy. The blueberries look so good. Okay, and I'm gonna let the other side cook again. I just keep flipping until I feel confident that it's cooked all the way through. I'm just gonna keep flipping so I feel like, you know, they're cooked all the way through. But yeah, like, so back to that whole catfish thing, you know, I was thinking, I was just like, and that's why it's important because you could tell, you could tell that he knew she might not like him because of his teeth, because he just kept talking about he's got to go and he's got to, he needs like two months and he wasn't trying to meet up right now. He has so much stuff to do and take care of. So it's like, he already knew in his head, like she not going to like me no more because of my teeth. You know what I mean? It's like, he knew that. And that's why it's just so important. And then he was crying. He was crying y'all. And I'm like, and, and I felt so bad for him, like I said. And that's why it's, it's just important to make sure that you are confident in yourself. Because if he was more confident in himself and was like, fuck his teeth, like, this is what it is. You either going to love me or you you going to hate me. If he had that type of attitude, she would not have been able to make him cry. He would have been like, all right, next to the left, like, move over so I can go find me someone who's better than you. You know what I'm saying? But because he had, you could tell he had low self-esteem. Because he, when he was talking, he you could barely... He won't open in his mouth it's like he learned how to keep his mouth closed when he was talking so that people wouldn't notice it right away. But it's like, you just gotta, you gotta own it. Like, that's one thing I feel, it don't matter what you are insecure about because we all have insecurities, right? Like, we all got things that we might, we might want to change or that we don't like. But you better own that shit. You better be like, all right, well, this is what it is. So what's up? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you can't be all timid with it. Like, well, he might not like me because of this. Or, girl, you better own your shit and love it. If you want to change it, change it. I'm not against changing stuff. Like, but own it until the meantime. Don't be letting people make you feel like you're not good enough or you're not worthy or they're better than you. Don't, don't do that, y'all. Do not do that. And that all comes from being insecure. Like, and if you, and if you are insecure, you better act like you're not. Don't let nobody know that you're insecure about something. I done broke one of my pancakes. Don't let no one know that you're insecure about something. You better act like you're not. Don't be giving people the satisfaction of thinking that they doing something to you. Mm -mm. No, no, no. All right, so my pancakes, I think, are done. So I'm going to turn my skill off. I done broke a piece of it. Mm, blueberry just falling out. Mm, Y'all. Mm, mm, mm. No, I'm not going to lie. These aren't the most cosmetically appealing looking pancakes i kind of messed them up a little bit but they're gonna be good all right so these are what they look like they are done i'm gonna flip this one so y'all can see so look at all the blueberries mm, let me zoom in so y'all can really see that look at that look at that oh man tell me these don't look absolutely delicious i'm gonna plate these and taste them all right so i'm gonna grab me i have some vegan butter here and i mean what i say but we're not supposed to be doing a whole bunch of butter so y'all gonna see exactly how much butter i don't use this is just to give it a little some of y'all be going crazy y'all gonna see let me get a plate I'm only going to eat one because it's late and I'm really not like 
super, super hungry, to be honest with you guys. Um, so I'm only gonna eat one, but normally, like if it was for breakfast, I would eat two and then save two for tomorrow. Let me take this one. Mm, this looks so good, you guys. Let me get a knife and a fork. Okay, I want to show you guys how much butter I'm not going to use. All right. So this is what the butter looks like. Don't judge me because sometimes I be dipping stuff. It's a little residue of other things in here, okay? <laughs> Don't be judging me with my butter, all right? I'm working on it, all right? So if you see some crumbs or something else, you know why. All right, so literally, this is what I have. Can y'all see that? This is what I have. And I'm just going to spread it on there, okay? I'm not doing sticks and sticks and sticks of butter, y'all. Come on. We don't need all that. Just to give it, make it do what it need to do, right? All right. I got my maple syrup here. And I got this from Whole Foods. Let's pour a little on here. All right. Let me lift my plate so y'all can see. I'll pour a little on here like so. Okay. Y'all ready? I'm ready too. Just make me a little piece. And I want to show you guys if y'all can see what it looks like on the inside. It looks like a regular pancake. Like what? There was no flour for this? What? Say what now? No. No flour. This is a flourless pancake. I be giving y'all all the tools. Give y'all all the tools, man. All right. Let's have our first bite. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, man. What? What? Mmm. Mm. And I love how I put the walnuts in there. Oh, my God. To give it a little crunch. Y'all. On a scale of 1 to 10... 10 being likely to make this again, it's a 100. These are by far, I love these pancakes better than any other pancake I've ever had before. I was vegan when I was still eating milk, egg, all of that. These pancakes are so good, you guys. And what I love about them is you can put whatever you want in them. If you want to put some vegan chocolate chips in there, you can do that. If you want to put some strawberries in there, you can do that. Peaches, whatever. It's your choice, like... You cannot go wrong. Like, I did that. Mmm. 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 Oh, my God. Yo. Yo. Mmm. Stop playing with me. Y'all be playing with me. Get out of here, man. Stop playing with me, yo. Stop fucking playing with me. Oh my God. Mm. Best pancakes, hands down. And I dare you, I dare you to tell me they not. I want you to tell me they not. Make sure y'all make these. Make sure y'all make these and leave a comment down below and letting me know that these are not the best pancakes you've ever had. I want to hear you say it. Okay? Mm, so, so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Cooking with Jasmine, vegan Cooking with Jasmine. Hey. Um, I don't know what I'm going to make next. I just kind of... It just kind of comes to me. But anyways, hopefully I'm at the gym tomorrow, you guys. I miss the gym. But I have to make sure that... I'm treating my body right in all aspects. When my body needs a break, 
I have to allow my body time to have a break. So hopefully I'm feeling 100% tomorrow so I can go back to the gym. If not, I will not have any shame. I will enjoy one more day off of just eating. (laughs) I'll enjoy one more day off of eating and watching TV or whatever the universe sees fit. Make sure you guys follow me on all of my platforms. If you have not already hit that like, share, subscribe button. Let's get the algorithm going because the more likes and comments that a video gets, the more YouTube is going to push it to a bigger audience. So thank y'all so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.